it's Jess from Gaming Instincts and today I'll be helping you build your own ultimate base. Some people play No Man's Sky for exploration, others prefer to become a space pirate. Then there exists a community of builders who want to create epic bases on some of the most beautiful planets in the game's universe. No Man's Sky certainly provides the goods when it comes to decking out your base, but for our first time home buyers out there, you may need some additional information to get started. Playing through the storyline, you'll learn the basics of bases and also receive blueprints to add a little flair. Here, I've compiled this list of tips and tricks to ensure you make the most of your humble shack whether you're looking to create an underwater escape or a wild racetrack. Just like in the real world, finding a location for your personal residence may be the most difficult part of creating your first home. Luckily, No Man's Sky has no limit to the number of bases you build, which means you have endless opportunities for creativity. To make it even easier, you're able to build a teleporter in every base, therefore you have easy access to each planet you've decided to claim. With all this in mind, there's no reason to get caught up on where your base should lie. Some people may prefer to build their creations on aesthetic planets with lush flora and fauna, while others are more resource-oriented. It's worth creating a base on planets with high-value resources. I personally found extreme weather planets quite beneficial, since crystals can be harvested during storms. They have a base value standing around 150,000 units, Quite useful when you're looking to upgrade your starships and multi-tool. No Man's Sky largely depends on resources to move forward in the game, and building bases is no different. If you want to be prepared for your building project, it's best to stock up on various resources. Ferrite dust, magnetized ferrite, pure ferrite, chromatic metal and carbon will all be needed to build various components. Collecting frost crystals is essential for building components with glass, while sodium is useful if you're building lights and storage containers. Even with your inventory filled to the brim with these resources, you'll most likely still need to restock several times to fully complete your base, especially if it's quite large. Having unrestricted access to all options for base building can take quite a bit of time with a series of quest steps that need to be completed. Expanding the base missions introduces you to the Overseer, who will help you build different terminals which are essential for research. Apart from these building modules, you'll need a blueprint analyzer to be able to create more aesthetic items. A blueprint analyzer is easy enough to create with 20 units of magnetized ferrite and a set of carbon nanotubes. The list of undiscovered blueprints on the other hand will require a bit more effort. You'll need to collect salvage technology from buried technology modules using your analysis visor. With the Abyss update, No Man's Sky opened a whole new world by adding some new base parts perfect for an underwater hideout. These building modules included glass corridors and viewing bays, which meant you could walk around your base with a beautiful view of the ocean. Building a base underwater is nearly identical to creating one on land. However, you do have to pay attention to your oxygen levels, otherwise you'll soon become a permanent resident of the sea floor. As long as you build from the safety of a base module, you'll be fine. Upgrading your exosuit with underwater protection modules will also smooth the process along. Although S-Class upgrades aren't available from technology merchants, they must be found in other sources such as damaged machinery. Step back Mario Kart, there's a new racetrack game in town. It may seem a strange addition to No Man's Sky's base building options, but it certainly provides a little fun to your average resident. First, you'll need to build a race initiator. Then you can interact with the terminal and drive your exocraft around while dropping checkpoints along the way. Once you've returned to the initiator, the circuit will be complete and awaiting willing races. And the best part of this all? Players can stumble upon your circuit and challenge themselves against your fastest racetrack record. This option is only available via base sharing, so make sure you upload your creation to find some speedy challenges. Hello Games have limited the size of a base to 20,000 components. However, there's an easy way to get around that problem. Simply build another base computer and your creation will extend into one big mega base. If you want to share your piece de resistance with other players, upload your base using the option on your base computer and everyone in the same game mode will be able to explore your creation. At the end of the day, No Man's Sky allows you to build pretty much everywhere which means your only limit is your imagination. If you want to focus on base building without having to go through the trouble of finding resources, take a dive into creative mode and build to your heart's content. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and click that notification bell if you want to stay in the loop of all of our latest content. Also, take a look at our official website at gaminginstincts.com for the latest in video game news and reviews. Thanks for watching everybody.